Hey guys! So we've made it to day eight of Inktober, and for today's piece, I wanted something that would be very relaxing to work on as opposed to stressful, but I also wanted to push myself to a certain extent as well. So the first way that I pushed myself with this piece is in the angle of the face, and this is an angle that I've always struggled with. It's a three-quarter view, but instead of the eye that is turned away from the viewer being fully visible, it's only partially visible. And the nose extends past the edge of the face. I don't know why this is such a struggle for me, it's just something about the way that the lines fit together, it just is very strange. But out of all of my attempts of a face of this nature, I think this is probably the best I've been able to do thus far. There are definitely things that feel off about it, but I'm overall happy with the result, especially in comparison to past attempts at this angle. Something else I wanted to work on with this piece is something I've talked about on and off in past videos on this channel, and that is the idea of becoming better at drawing specific types of flowers as opposed to just general flower shapes. So I looked at a lot of references for flowers, and they definitely can also use some work. I feel like anything I do could always use some work, but Overall, I am happy with the way they turned out. I tried some that were a little more complex than I was used to experimenting with, and that's the only way you're going to become truly better, is through pushing yourself and making yourself feel a little uncomfortable with the things that you're drawing. Now, looking at the actual prompt that I used to inspire today's piece, the word was long. And you can probably tell that this woman has a fairly long neck. I purposefully stretched the proportions of her neck, and I think it works. It either looks slightly awkward or graceful, depending on how you look at it, or whether or not you knew it was on purpose, perhaps. Another thing that I'm a little iffy about are the petals that are pulling away from the flowers replacing her hair. And I like the idea of it, and I like how it sort of ties this piece together with the last piece I did, but I think there's just a few too many. If I had the chance to do it over, the two groups that are near the upper left I would probably remove completely and I think that would cause it to be a little more balanced than it is currently. However, now that I've sort of discussed some of the bits that I'm not quite so happy with, I would like to talk about the things I am happy with, starting off with the application of the ink for the skin itself. Now, I try to be a bit more brave with the application of the black ink. I knew that I wanted this woman to have a darker skin tone, and I would prefer to build that color up, start at a very light tone, and then add dark layers on top of it. However, I was trying to push myself, as I previously mentioned, and so I went in with a much darker color than I was comfortable with, and it actually dried lighter than I applied it. And my main concern was not that it was too dark per se, but that I wouldn't be able to add proper shadows. However, it ended up drying a tiny bit lighter than I had applied it, and then I could go in with darker layers to create more shadowed areas. And in the end, I'm very happy with the way the skin on this particular piece turned out, probably more so than any of my past pieces. And I really do think that comes from the confidence that I'm starting to build from the process of working with the same ink and the same materials every single day. I'm starting to understand how they work and how they play with each other, as opposed to just general abstract concepts of how supplies work as a whole. Something else I did with today's piece in an attempt to make it a tiny bit more interesting since it was on the simpler side is 
create a border around the piece and have some of the petals that are pulling away from the flowers extend past that border. And I knew that I wanted to do this, but I wasn't quite sure how to achieve that because I've never really done anything like that before. However, in the end, I do think that it turned out the way that I had envisioned it in my head, and that's always an encouraging feeling as an artist. And as I mentioned near the beginning of this video, the purpose of this piece was to give myself a little bit of a break because I have been pushing myself and trying to experiment quite a bit, so I wanted something that wouldn't be quite as stressful or time-consuming. The funny thing is, even though I thought it wasn't going to be as time-consuming as some of my other pieces, it actually ended up being the one that I spent the most time on. And I think this is solely due to all of the details in the flowers. I don't normally include this many flowers, and so I was really focused on making sure that they each looked good individually. The flowers ended up taking, I think, about a half hour to ink the initial fine lines. I actually inked the entire piece in a 01 fine liner and then went around some of the shapes with a thicker micron pen. And so the inking of this piece ended up taking much longer than I had expected it to. However, in the end, I'm very happy with the final product and I'm glad that I put as much time and effort into it as I did because otherwise I just would have probably been annoyed with myself for not spending as long. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've been leaving links to the supplies used in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.